Hi, it's John. It's Friday the 16th of May. And uh, I've got a package to deliver in Dorchester. So that's going to save me um, some money, which about about uh, £1.20. Um, if I posted it, it would be £1.17. So um, I can justify my trip to that to Dorchester because um, that will save one pound seventeen, which I can use for my gadding about like. And then I've also got some um, thirteen pound fifty worth of Tesco vouchers uh, off at the shop. Well, I've got to get milk, and um, we don't have to buy much stuff, but we do have to buy some stuff. So I'm off to Dorchester. I've just come through uh, Piddle Hinton, in the, down the Piddle Valley, and well, this is called the Piddle Valley because the river Piddle runs along the bottom there. And uh, just noticed these uh, this uh, cattle and horses all mixed in together, rather picturesque. Yeah, another reason I've got to go to Dorchester is that I need diesel. Um, that's one thing that never do if you're self-sufficient is it make your own fuel that's Piddle Hinton Church funny these churches that are not built in a hole and the uh, tower sticks up from a distance the tower sort of sticks up out of a hole quite fascinating though really very pretty here although the um, lighting at this time of day it's about 12 terrible lighting but even down even with that bad lighting it looks nice down here right I better get on my way now I'm nearly at Dorchester and before I came I looked on the map um, this is the Wessex Ridgeway and it crosses over the Piddle Valley Road and it goes from the left there, um, across there, and it's got uh, a mark where it says Charminster by horse. So it's a bridle way, but I'm going to just drive up there a little way and see how I get on. Sort of um, a bit illicitly, and uh, there's some, there is a few... Uh, Burial mounds or something along there, but uh, I'll just have a look along there, see what, see what, uh, see what I find. See, there's Dorchester down there. Well, I've driven up about a quarter of a mile, and it's just amazing. No problem. Beautiful view over the um, hill there, and uh, here is the burial, well, a burial mound. It's a book one, I've just here, obviously. I think it said there was one or two on the map. Amazing though, isn't it, that burial mound out in the middle of nowhere. Must be preserved in some way. Now, Henry tells me there's a bird and it says something and a bit of cheese. I don't know whether that's that bird. Is it, um, she'll tell me when I get back. I mustn't be negative, but it is a bit like a prairie out here.
skylark, so skylarks must find somewhere to um, nest in all this barrenness. Now is that that little bit of cheese bird again? It's amazing to, you know, find new areas when you uh, get out and about. It's good to uh, find new areas in the town, isn't it? Really leafy, leafy suburb. Here I am, I've arrived at Tesco. Um, Nirvana. We can say it was Nirvana because it's a place where all your needs are supplied. Petrol, or diesel, 133.9. Um, colonnades and the fountain. The fountains are on now. I did a video before about, I don't know, about a year ago and the fountains weren't on. Maybe this is because the, uh, they're on now because we've got the end, the end of the recession. This is an ordinary Tesco, it's not a, not a Tesco's extra. So we have a limited range of goods here, no electrical. Well, I've got the food. Um, one thing about the, uh, the, the fountains out there, I mean, they, they fountains they do make make the air cool down they're a bit like air conditioning you know very simple air conditioning so it's they have a very nice atmosphere around them on a hot day and uh, if people want a cigarette they can go out and have their cigarette break the staff the staff around it having their cigarette break or having a little staff meeting so um, yeah, it's not all bad I've just got my fuel and I've uh, well I feel I've been hustled out you know, I don't want to keep people waiting. There's a queue, so I dare say it's the cheapest place in town. Um, what I do, I pay at the t uh, pay at the uh, pump. So, so I pay the card at the pump. Uh, it saves uh, saves time. Uh, and but one of the problems is it, you you do it so quick, and then you have got the next person. You feel you've got to move out the way. Um, I don't feel, you know. Well, I do feel quite chuffed that I can pay at the pump. You know. But uh, my my um, my mum couldn't drive, so she never had to fill the car up with petrol. And my mother-in-law, Ellen, had to spend a long time teaching her how to fill the car up with petrol. Um, I do feel sorry for people who who who, who, uh, who can't cope with this modern world. You know, it's going to become highly technical without even thinking about it. Uh, no, I'm at the back of Tesco's now because I'm just sort of pulled into a parking spot. And at the back here, it's all very sort of like um, 1920s summer lawn. You know, uh, tea on the lawn. Uh, but obviously they don't need this piece of grass, but planners must have said they'd got to put it there. It's rather nice, but totally unused. Now down here is a uh, park and ride. And down around there is um, Dorchester Town Football Club. So it's a little little annex of Dorchester. Right, I'm going to say bye for now. For now, for now, bye for now. Thanks for watching.